Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode. So if you watched the last one where I sort of detailed the engine sagas that we've been going through, uh, you will know where we are up to with all that. So last video was all about the sort of charting the downfall and hopefully this is the beginning of the climb back to a functioning engine and maybe some sailing in our future. Um, so I'm here in the workshop, I've got the original engine from the boat, which is still where it is. And I've got the new, to me, by no means new engine. Um, and the plan for today is to do some work on this one to sort of clean it up a bit, uh, to swap out some of the less good parts on this engine for some of the better parts from our original engine. Um, so namely starting at the top, um, I'm going to swap out the exhausts um, for that end, that exhaust. I'm going to swap the lift pump because I think the lift pump on ours is a bit better. I'm going to swap the alternator for that one and I'm going to swap the starter motor for that one. And once all that's swapped, uh, in theory, this engine should be in a better state. Um, and then we can think about hooking it up, getting it on a test rig and seeing if it actually runs. <laughs> Okay, so we're making some progress. Uh, I've got the exhaust off, starter motor with its annoyingly positioned bolts, uh, the alternator. I've also decided that I'm going to um, use the wiring loom off this one because it seems a bit better. Um, so I've taken off the main relay and everything like that. I'm gonna swap out the sensors uh, for the sensors from that one because they're again newer and better condition. Um, in the process though, and it's partly why I want to stop here, is um, come across this thing. Um, this isn't on my engine, and both myself and my sort of mechanic, or the mechanic that used to work with us, um, can't figure out exactly what it is. It has lots of, uh, uh, well, it, it basically says special electrical system, see the instruction book. Obviously don't have the instruction book. It has a part number. Uh, searching that part number on the Volvo Pento site doesn't come up with anything, helpfully. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically it's it's like a neg it's where the negative from the battery connects to the engine. Um, it connects out to the starter and, well, it connects out to the main switch panel via a negative, connects to the um, alternator via a negative. But, can't figure out what it is. Uh, some kind of fuse, some kind of relay. It looks like a solenoid for the starter, but it's not. Um, if I grab the starter. Uh, that's the solenoid for the starter. It ain't that, and it wasn't even connected to that, so I don't know, it couldn't be anything to do with that. So yeah, if anyone knows what that is, let me know, because my intention is to take it off, because like I say, my, my original engine didn't have it. Uh, and hopefully that's not a big mistake. So yeah, but if you do know what it is, part number anyone interested in is, is uh, 860-877-0. But like I say, a search on the Volvo Penta website doesn't come up with any parts under that number. So, a mystery. <laughs>
Right, so that's all hooked up. Oil, uh, water is in a separate can so it doesn't get forced into it like the mistake I made last time. Uh, just got to put some fuel in it. Uh, battery's all wired up and we'll see if you'll actually go. Okay, so as you can hear, probably in the background, and hopefully you can still hear me over it, the engine is actually running, which is the first time that we've ever had an inboard engine run for us. So that's quite a nice day. Uh, all in all, I'm kind of being cautiously optimistic, I guess, given the experience of the engine this year, but uh, it went about as well as it could have. I mean, bear in mind, this engine has sat in a container for about three years and it literally fired up on about the second or third crank, it seemed, uh, once we'd sort of got it bled properly. Uh, it's been running now, half an hour, 40 minutes or so. Seems pretty consistent. It's a noisy, clunky old diesel engine, but it's running nicely or as smoothly as it can do. So yeah, I think we'll take that as a success. It's also pumping out water on its own accord, not me forcing it into it, which is working pretty well. Uh, so I think the water pump's working well. Only issue of significance, um, which isn't really a big issue, is that the exhaust gasket is leaking, which is why there's sort of water peeing out the top. It's not a really a big deal for testing, um, and I, because I swapped out the exhaust and didn't swap the gasket, it's kind of expected, so I'll need to swap out that gasket. But yeah, she's pretty good. So next step is to um, clean up the engine, give her a paint, uh, give her a, a, probably a proper service. I'll put some of the stuff from the other engine onto it. Um, and yeah, just generally get us spruced up and ready to go to the boat. But that'll come up in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you're happy like we are that our engine's actually running. I uh, hope you'll subscribe and like and all that. And we'll see you in the next episode.